When CEO He Xiaoping talked about the new generation of iron humanoid robots, they mentioned three major AI models that combine to form the brain of the robot. These are VLT, VLA, and VLM. These are the most advanced multimodal AI technologies today, developed internally by Xpeng based on experience from self-driving cars. First, VLT stands for Vision Language Task. This is the model first announced by Xpeng, known as the main brain or core engine of the robot. It is responsible for understanding the overall task in the real world. Specifically, vision, seeing and understanding images from the robot's camera. Language, understanding natural language, such as the command, go get a cup of water or introduce this car to customers. Task, analyzing and planning complex tasks, deciding what to do first and what to do next, predicting the results of actions in real environments. VLT is like the robot's strategic intelligence, helping iron to be completely autonomous without the need for remote control by humans. It is a major breakthrough, first appearing in the humanoid industry. Second, VLA stands for Vision Language Action. This is the 2.0 generation model that Xpeng upgraded from the car's self-driving technology. It is responsible for converting commands into specific actions, vision, seeing the surrounding environment. Language, understanding verbal instructions. Action, directly controlling the robot's body, such as walking, grasping, balancing with 82 degrees of freedom. VLA is like the cerebellum that controls movement, helping iron walk smoothly on the catwalk, hold eggs without breaking them or twist bottle caps. Xpeng says VLA 2.0 eliminates the language bottleneck by going straight from image to action, faster and more accurately than other robots. Third, VLM stands for Vision Language Model. This is a basic language and image understanding model, similar to ChatGPT but combined with image viewing. It helps robots converse naturally with humans, understand context and respond intelligently. These three models combine to run on three self-developed Turing chips of Xpeng, with a total performance of 2,250 tops, much stronger than Tesla Optimus. Thanks to them, Iron can work practically in factories or showrooms without rigid scripts. In short, VLT and VLA are two new super-intelligences that help Iron become the most realistic human-like robot, thinking and acting independently. Xpeng also open-sourced VLA 2.0 for the community to develop together, completely different from Tesla's closed style. If you watch the official video on YouTube Xpeng Global, there is an English replay from minute 1 hour and 40 minutes onwards, they explain more clearly with a demo. Xpeng announced the next generation of humanoid robots named Iron at the AI Day 2025 event, which took place on November 5, 2025. The news immediately exploded on all global social media platforms. On X, formerly Twitter, a series of large accounts such as Sawyer Merritt, the humanoid hub, Herbert On posted videos with hundreds of thousands of likes and shares. Many people commented that Tesla's Optimus had a girlfriend, or that Iron walked much smoother than Optimus Gen 2. There was even a meme coin named Iron that exploded on Solana and Binance Smart Chain. On Weibo, Reddit and YouTube, the video of the female version of the Iron Robot performing a catwalk reached tens of millions of views in just a few hours. Many comments said that it looked too real, they didn't believe this was a robot. The climax was when CEO He Xiaoping had to post a video of the robot opening its back to prove that there was no real person inside. This video continues to be shared like crazy. The robotics community on Reddit, especially the Singularity and Futurology subreddit, is hotly debating that Xpeng is leading the humanoid race in China, and if mass production is on schedule by 2026, Tesla will have to be very worried. Iron is currently considered the world's most human-like robot in terms of physical appearance. Now for a detailed comparison with the two biggest competitors, Unitree Robotics and Tesla Optimus. In terms of height and weight, Iron is 1 meter 78 tall and weighs 70 kilograms. Unitree G1 and H1 are only 1 meter 3 to 1 meter 65 tall and weigh around 35 to 50 kilograms. 
Tesla Optimus Gen 2 is about 1 meter 73 tall and weighs between 57 and 73 kilograms. In terms of degrees of freedom, Iron has a total of 82 degrees of freedom, of which the hands alone reach 22 degrees of freedom thanks to the use of ultra-small harmonic joints, the smallest in the industry today. Unitree only has 23 to 43 degrees of freedom in total. Tesla Optimus Gen 2 has about 40 to 50 degrees of freedom, and Gen 3 is expected to have 22 degrees of freedom in the hands. In terms of battery, Iron is the world's first humanoid robot to use a completely solid-state battery, 30% lighter, 30% higher capacity, and absolutely safe and non-explosive. Both Unitree and Tesla currently use conventional lithium-ion batteries. In terms of AI chips, Iron uses three Turing chips developed by Xpeng, with a total performance of 2,250 tops. Tesla uses FSD chips with an estimated performance of about 720 tops. Unitree uses NVIDIA Jetson chips or equivalent. In terms of appearance, Iron has soft skin all over the body, 3D mesh structure, lifelike spine, can be customized into male or female version, and has a 3D face screen. Unitree exposes the metal frame, sporty appearance. Tesla Optimus is only covered with basic silicone skin. In terms of mobility, Iron performs extremely smooth catwalk, with additional passive degrees of freedom in the toes for better balance. Unitree runs fast and dances well but the movement is still stiff. Tesla Optimus walks steadily but is not as smooth as Iron in the latest demo videos. In terms of actual implementation, Iron has actually worked at the Xpeng factory to assemble the P7 Plus car and will soon appear in showrooms to introduce the car to customers. Unitree is mainly sold for educational and research purposes for about $16,000. Tesla only has a few Optimus in operation internally, not yet for sale. Regarding the timing of mass production, Xpeng committed to starting mass production from April 2026, first for commercial use, then for households when AI is mature enough. Unitree has been selling retail since last year. Tesla has repeatedly promised 2026 but actual progress is much slower than the original plan. The most outstanding advantages of iron, first, the most realistic human in the world thanks to its soft skin, flexible spine, and gender customization, very suitable for customer service work. Second, the industry's first solid-state battery, making the robot lighter, more durable, faster charging and absolutely safe. Third, the most dexterous hands with 22 degrees of freedom, can hold eggs, twist bottle caps easily. Fourth, deep integration with the Xpeng car ecosystem, taking advantage of huge real-world data to train AI faster than any competitor. Fifth, a practical strategy when not rushing to bring it into households, avoiding excessive hype like some competitors. Compared to Unitree, Iron is in a much higher-end segment, aiming for professional services instead of just education or performance. Compared to Tesla Optimus, Iron is currently ahead in appearance, battery technology, manual dexterity, and especially the speed of actual deployment. Many experts say Xpeng is following the Tesla lead but is more practical and much faster. This is a major turning point, proving that China is leading the humanoid robot race with dozens of companies participating, while the US has only a few prominent names. If Xpeng mass produces on time in April 2026, XPV stock price could skyrocket. The big question now is, do you think Iron or Optimus will dominate the market first? The humanoid race has officially entered the sprint stage.